Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started? Uh, so I'm Ryan Moss, uh, creative, born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, got started kind of like a natural way. Uh, didn't really plan to do the creative things that I do right now. Okay. Um, so honestly, I feel better about that that way. Um, it seemed like it was supposed to happen for me, not something I was really like searching for in life. Um, I do a little bit of it all, a little creative thing in any avenue that you can think of, I've probably done it. Okay, so when did you first realize that you love creating or your art? Um, so I've done so many different avenues of creating. Uh, my first one that I would say would be like English, like creative writing. So that's where it started young for me. But I wouldn't say that it was truly like a passion for me. It was just something that I found myself being good at, um, honestly. And because growing up, that wasn't really the lane that I was looking at. I was looking at, a, you know, yeah. want to go play NFL, football. That's what I love to do since I was four years old. So. The creative thing, like I said, it kind of just naturally formed and, and found its way into some other some other paths for me. Okay, could you tell us a little bit about what you do and what are you kind of known for now? Uh, so I do too much, Okay. if that's the <laughs> thing. Uh, but right now I'd say I do a lot of creative direction, okay. whether that's for my own brand, okay. um, for the store that I work at, so I work at Oneness. Um, okay. I do a lot of creative direction for that store as well when it comes to modeling things, styling, talent scouting, right. anything you can pretty much think of. So, and also I do like some event planning and things of that nature as well. So pretty much anything, like I said, you can think of, I probably have a hand in. Okay. So could you tell us a little bit about your childhood dreams? What okay. were you thinking so, you were going to do? Yeah. So my dad played college ball at uh, UofL. My brother played college ball at UofL. So it's kind of in the cards for me to to go along that line and play football. And that's what I love to do since I was a kid. Um, so that was where it all started. That was like what I had my mind set on, jet set on, was going to do that, play ball, hopefully play ball for a living and get paid to do it. Yeah. Uh, buy my mom my house in a car off of that. You know? Right. So that was the plan, but you know, things change. So right. we still, we still on the way though. So could you tell us a little bit about what inspires you to create? Life, honestly, yeah. uh, anything that I come across on a daily basis. Um, it, it motivates me and inspires me because I'm kind of a person that believes like that the inspiration should come to me. I don't really seek it out. Right. So like my creative process is a little, sometimes slower um, because I just go with how I naturally feel about it. So a big one for me is music. Okay. Um, music, nature, I love nature, anything about it. I pretty much just like go with the flow. I love to go for long drives yeah. and just clear my mind or whatever comes to me. A lot of my things have come to me from things naturally in my life, sports, you know, music, like I said, those are things that like really move my emotions because I believe like art is meant to, to create and evoke an emotion. So yeah. anything that invokes an emotion out of me is, I like to send that directly to my art. So how did your styling or fashion career, how did all of that start? How did styling for you? start uh it started on its own like yeah. i'd say probably my junior or senior in high school is where kind of my style kind of came into its own and i realized that people kind of recognized that before i recognized it like i didn't really see much into it um but people that's when people started calling me fly guy and things yeah. of that nature so and at the time i was actually wearing like my brother's clothes yeah. like trying to mix it in with my own stuff trying to do some fly things and just trying different things out because he's a big inspiration for me for a lot of things uh creative so that's how it was like little brother big brother thing yeah. and uh getting in trouble for stealing his stuff you know <laughs> us fighting in the crib and everything uh so that's where it all started for me and then it started to just continually morph itself and when i realized that that was a part of who i am uh, a part of me to express myself and my creativity it it got way more important to me to like display that who is someone that you would like to work with the most uh honestly i don't really have that person in mind like mm -hmm. the person that i do like to kind of bounce my art directly off of is my brother mm -hmm. so if there was a person, it'll always be him. Yeah. Like, because I admire and respect his art so much. Yeah. And I like to try to kind of bring in that into my art when I can. Yeah. So I say that right now, but I'm still kind of finding myself in my creative lane, mm -hmm. um, in the direction that I want to go and building the foundation of what I believe my creative um, image should be. Um, so until I really get that 
formed into what I really want it to be. Then I started to think of some other people. I have yeah. people in mind, people I respect their, their creativity, but until I really get my foundation where I want it to be, then I won't you know, branch off too much. So what has been um, one of your favorite projects to date? Um, so my favorite project would probably be my um, Superfly collection, mm -hmm. which is a collection that was based off of like 1970s, 80s black hair ads. Yeah. Um, so, like I said about the inspiration of music for me, um, I happened to be listening to uh, Superfly, the tape from Curtis Mayfield, uh, one day, and I started to think about like some of my childhood with my mother and my sister and things of that nature, yeah. going to get my hair done, all that, because clearly I got too much going on. But uh, that kind of like brought an emotion to me, and it took me back to a time. And when I was thinking of it, I was like, it just came. The idea just came to me to yeah. kind of shed light on something that I feel like. It's kind of a void, like yeah. that that time and that hair and mm -hmm. what that meant to black culture. So that was one of them. So this is like the, actually one of the pieces. This is a hoodie though. I never dropped this one, but yeah. um, I did some tees and some crew necks and some things of that nature. And yeah. that's always gonna be one of my aesthetics that I'm gonna reach back into like different collections. Most creatives um, love various forms of art. Aside from events and fashion, is there anything else that you would like to experiment with? Uh, I want to learn how to play the bass guitar. Oh, nice. That's, uh, That's I love the bass. I feel yeah. like it's the soul of music, like mm -hmm. the rhythm, the pattern, and all that. So yeah. I really respect that instrument. So if there was something that I want to learn next, that would be it. So I'm always picking up on new things. That's that's the thing about me. Like I love to learn new things all the time. Like even when it came to sewing, like I picked that up and I, that was self-taught. Like so, yeah. I just want to like get something on my mind and then yeah. I'm gonna do it and figure it out is yeah. the best that I can. Okay, so like, where do you see your brand in the next 10 years? Uh, to be honest, I don't even look at my brand in the next 10 years. Like I'm yeah. so, I like to be in the moment mm -hmm. of things. Obviously like have a direction of where I wanna be. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see where I would wanna be in yeah. 10 years, the things that I might wanna be doing. But as far as the brand, um, a brand for me is like a, a channel, yeah. like a channel to display where I'm at creatively at the time. Right. So I'm not too like, you know, some people are fully invested yeah. and like, this is do or die. I don't really look at it like right. that. So what do you see yourself in 10 years then? Um, so in 10 years, I hope to be doing creative direction of a lot of different sorts, honestly. Yeah. Um, whether that's marketing um, in fashion or for a big house, for a smaller house. I feel like my gift is um, not only creating my own things, but enhancing others ideas. So mm -hmm. I feel like if I can get into that position, that is something that I see myself doing. I feel like I would serve my purpose doing that in 10 years, hopefully. That's dope, that's dope. Well, thank you for chatting with us today. Um, is there anything that, any projects that you have coming up that you wanna talk about or shout out? Uh, I don't like to give too much, but got I got some things all yeah. um, on the way. I try to keep it a little consistent. I uh -huh. have a bad habit of sitting on ideas and things. Yeah. It's got pages of things I've been sitting on yeah. for a long time. So trying to get those out. Uh, get some of these samples out. I've been leaking to the internet a little bit. Yeah. Um, not hold people off too long, but I def definitely got some things, a few things coming before the summer for sure. Okay, watch out.